How do you like those clicks? The sound of me clicking. Okay, so this is a game that appeared interesting to me, and I like doing interesting things and not just shitty game collections. Wow. Seizure warning, and then the very next thing is a seizure. Um, thanks game. Zero degrees north by zero degrees west. You will end up precisely where you began. The game is called North Left. And I'm already confused. So how do I seduce the construction workers? That's what this is. This is Super Seducer, right? It's the realest graphics I've ever seen. Are we in Newark? No, we're not in Newark. Where, where are we? And if I could get from city to cow that quickly. Okay, now I know where we are. St. Lou. And uh, here's Wind City. That's Chicago. Never mind. Well, I like the music. Think about how much this dude had to drive. Oh, okay. So this is a part of the US, somewhere off Route 66. Just give it a chance, chat, and if you don't like it, then you can go bash your head against a wall someplace. But give it, give it a minute. It didn't even start yet. I, I like shit like this. I want to I wanna give it a shot. See if it's... Something genuinely unique and interesting, which, you know, my expectations, sadly, aren't that high because there's a lot of stuff I've played that's similar to this that didn't really do anything for me, but that doesn't mean it wouldn't do anything for anyone. Um, okay. Like, I can, I can feel the light in waves, man. This would be the type of place that you get gas, then you fucking leave. I'm not down for neon purple. I would say city, but clearly a town. And a very small one at that. The laundromat is like the most prominent building. Aside from the theater. So I'll just leave my car at the gas station. I like the sky. It's layered. Looks nice. These colors make my eyeballs feel good. They emanate nicely onto my eyeballs. So... I'll just leave my car there. It'll be safe. Popcorn texture. Oh, wow. Matrix. Matrix. 
Matrix Matrix. This is interesting. It just went from the Matrix to Interstellar. I can feel the green. What's this now? <sighs> I can already feel the smug satisfaction from the people that don't like walking simulators. I can feel it emanating off of you just like the green. But yeah, the game pretty much just vomited. Interactive experience. Of course, you know, I chose the door. That was my fault. I chose the door that would make me crash, of course. I'm not really sure what I just did. But we've stumbled upon a Radiohead music video. So this does not look good on Twitch. It looks better on my end, but it's still not a whole lot to look at. This is, um, you know, if you inject yourself with them legal, legal weeds, of course legal weeds, then you'd probably enjoy this to some extent. But um, I don't know how to stop this. I don't know how to get out of here. So again, at first... I was like, oh, this is cool. This is an interesting concept. But now it's just Windows Media Player. So I pressed M, I pressed a bunch of those buttons, and nothing happened. Can I just continue? Here, let's let's go back. Let's try this again. It's quick enough. Free air? Okay, good. I thought that said free anal. I looked at it real quick. Okay, let's see this again. Maybe we'll have a different experience this time. One preferable to the game crashing. Now, of course, when I say game, you know, I mean visual and auditory, auditory experience. It's not much of a game in here. But I kind of like shit like this. I think maybe this is one of the reasons why VR would be good for me, even though I do get motion sickness in the previous VRs. I feel like maybe weird experiences like this would be provocative. Eat 
more. Eat more. Eat more. Eat more. Someone is preempting me by taking an early shot. I'm not going to say it. I didn't know I could do that. Holy shit. Oh, the bit rate. More like shit rate. There we go. Okay. So now we have some level of stability here. See, I guess I'm not really looking for a story, necessarily, with these games. But I need a little something. Like, I'm all about... I'm all about weird visuals and audio. Fine. That's, that's good enough. But... Something to tie it all together. Like a nice rug. That's the stuff I want out of games like this. And I'm not sure we're going to get it with this one. But, we'll see. Oh, there's, there's a... There's a door button. That's good. Holy shit, it's a White Stripes video. Someone said, I don't like that because then that usually precludes you from forming your own opinions. Yeah, I, I kind of see what you mean, but we need a little bit more cohesion to form opinions rather than um, iTunes visualizer, Windows media player visualizer. Etc. Etc. You know, otherwise all you're doing is. I, I think there needs to be a genre name for games that you have to do drugs to appreciate. I don't mean have to, but enhance. There should be like weed core. No, what could we call it? What what could we call the genre, where you get an enhanced experience so people know what to buy. Dream simulators? I think I can... Yeah, I can get down with that. Oh, okay. Here's another example of... Just a little house, but nowhere to go. It's a very nice green. It's very calming. For a moment, I knew what being a slug felt like. We're Sergeant Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band. bit of dimethyltryptamine. Is that how you say it? I don't even know if that's how you say it. 
but this game borrowed some of that and put it into its code. Why is there traffic? It's in your mind, man. Someone said, I feel nervous looking at this. Extremely nervous. So then I guess the game is doing something right. And of course, someone made a... a classy joke about the inside of one. Like, there's people genuinely trying to vibe out to this, and now I'm talking about Clussies. I feel like half of this game was generated by a corruption from a previous Sunday stream. I, I really, you know, I'm, I'm totally sober at the moment. And I believe that is a detriment to this experience. Because it's just too formless and aimless for me. <laughs> yep. Entirely too sober for this. You know, I do... I like the graphics filters. Like, I, I like... Out of it. It's just not... It's not... Again, I'm kind of looking for a, an experience that has some level of cohesion. And it's, um... It's not giving me that. So... Maybe not the best game for a Sunday stream. It looked cool. I think this is a good personal game. This is a good game for you to experience, like, alone. But yeah, this isn't the type of walking simulator that maybe would go great on a Sunday. You know what game? What was the game I played with the weird stuff a couple months ago? There's money and like a samurai sword. What was that one? It is soothing. Yeah, I can't deny that. I, I like aspects of this quite a bit. No, not the alien game. Even that was kind of cool. Um, Jazz Punk is a good example. Broken Reality? Yeah, I think it was Broken Reality. Jazz Punk was just on another level. Jazz Punk was amazing. And it was also really funny. Sorry about that. Interesting. Another of the same house, but this time with a different filter. Hmm. Hang on a minute.
Norwood Estate was pretty cool too. Norwood Estate had a lot going for it, but I didn't think it pulled it through together at the end for me. It's close. Oh, that's weird. That's fucking... That is unsettling for me. The way those things just expanded like that. Not good. I want to see it again. I snuck a little music in there. So what if there was a tone that reminded me of the beginning tone from the song? It's not gonna get muted. It'll most certainly get muted. Hey, at least the game hasn't crashed in a while. Where's Eyeball? What the fuck? Okay. I like the blue. Blue is nice. Whoa. Whoa, motherfucker. Yeah, I can't deny, this is like a really good interactive, like, music accompaniment program. <laughs> like, it serves its purpose. It's not exactly what I thought it was, but I like... I like a lot of it. over the other ones. We're not going to do this for too long. Don't worry. I was expecting more of um, some of those other games I mentioned earlier kind of vibe, but we'll get to your shitty SNES games very shortly. Hello neighbor. Yeah, definitely not hello neighbor. Shapes, please. Polygons. John Wilco himself is going to prevent me from using this on my internet. On my own personal internet. Which is a shame. Oh, okay. I feel like I'm drowning too. Okay, what was that? This is what's on the computer. <laughs> Amazing. I'm ready to receive Camel Clutch by John Wilco. Whoa. 
Okay, yeah, this- this game... I keep calling it a game. I should know better. This thing... Okay. Yeah, there's a market for this. I don't know if it's Sunday stream market, but there is a market for this. Very much. So many colors all at the same time. more minutes. I like this one the best so far. God. This is so made for stoners, it's unbelievable. I know many of us aren't stoning at the moment, myself included. This little bit of yellow. I treasure this yellow. You have to understand. This world is blue. It's a little pink. It's a little purple. But there is not much yellow. Yellow is rare. When it shows up, it's to be valued and cherished. Well, Mano says you don't need drugs to enjoy experiences like this. I, I agree, I'm totally... ...stone sober, but I kind of love this one in particular. This is- this is my favorite one yet. And I'm just enjoying the- the sounds and the aesthetics of it. It's very calming and... ...visually... ...that... ...right there, that- I like that. Whatever that is. I just got done- I watched Thor Ragnarok, finally. It was very colorful, and it had, uh, at times it had the, like, kind of 80s aesthetic thing going on. It was cool. I enjoyed it a lot, actually. But, uh... Anyway. The point I'm trying to make is I do tend to like the break from the drab. And I enjoy just looking at colors every now and then. Some say yellow was found off in the distance there. There have been trace amounts of yellow... ...up until now. But... ...large quantities of yellow were spotted... ...in the deep distance. You can make a fortune.
sadly, upon further exploration, nothing was found. And the term Fool's Yellow was therefore dubbed Wanderers run aimlessly towards a horizon, looking for yellow, and finding it, subsequently, in some of the most unexpected places. That one, uh, this one is, you can't press the menu button for this one. This is where we were stuck before. And for some reason, this one is just death. This is the void. Which is a shame because I was actually starting to enjoy it. I was creating a little story and everything. Um, I've been playing this for 30 minutes. Let me give it another 5. It could use some work. It, it needs a little bit of fixing. Because, um... That's like the... Third time I've got soft locked or crashed. So this is a, this is another cool looking one. It is not the same as the one from a minute, a minute ago, but it's, it's similar. This time we've got like flying footballs. There's a bit more yellow in this world. It's ready player two. Music is nice. Oh, I say music. I mean ambient synth. It's kind of nice. So welcome to Moonside. Enjoy your stay. This is after the great yellow market crash of five minutes ago. Red is on the rise now. People are looking for red. They find it, but as soon as you get close, it gets smaller or it gets taken away. Sexperts have dubbed this Japes Red. But if you look hard enough, you can find a wild patch of red. It's growing wild amongst the blue. Cities were built around such red. But... It was unstable. The foundations collapsed. And thus... It had to be evacuated. Not enough red to sustain a city. Once again, we stray to the horizon because, you know, that's where the most colors are. So we're going to go there. And, oh, 
So many have fallen into the sun itself. Looking for new colors. But they just kind of end up in a... ...ugly combination of yellow and blue. I bet you didn't know the sun actually was blue on the inside. But it is. Unfortunately, your retinas have been completely burned out. And now you can no longer perceive color. Have a nice day. And that's what happens when you get greedy for color. You know, and there's a lesson to be learned. Too much of a good thing... ...can blind you. Too much ambition... ...can bl blind you to your own... ...insufficiencies, perhaps. And the important things start to slowly fade out of view in existence until all that's left is black and white. And the world is just too complex for a black and white viewpoint. Stuck without color. It's gone. It's been robbed. If you're lucky, you'll find it again. Until then, it's just the cold void. Of wintry nothingness. The brave color explorers of ten minutes ago found a world of color. But just because it wasn't vivid enough... ...they abandoned it and searched for greater things. And ended up getting lost. Then... After finally finding some color... ...they couldn't find sharpness. <laughs> I'm so sorry for this, this is terrible. But blurriness... ...replaced the sharpness. So... You know, there's multiple dimensions that one must consider... ...if one is to have a good aesthetic... ...life. So you might get the color back... But then everything's blurry, and you cannot perceive the finer details. And again, the world is just too complex for that. You need to open your eyes and really perceive them details and take in every detail into account before making a decision. Otherwise, well, you just get lost in nothingness. Vinny, are you sure you're sober? I- I am, yes. I am. I shouldn't be. You can imagine what I'm like when the devil's lettuce takes hold. But that doesn't happen very often. Because then it feels like I'm having a heart attack. Then again... This is kind of close to that anyway, so... Someone in chat said, this is not a good game for migraine. I can imagine. All right, one more at random, and then I'm done. Oh, we did this one already. And I think we... No, we didn't do this, but we did like... Four or five variations of it. It's just a bunch of cells. Within cells. Okay, one more, one more, one more. Good one. 
And again, we're back here. I think I randomly chose this one by accident. But you know what? I like this one. Okay. Yeah, it grew on me. I like it. I know this isn't to everyone's liking. I know the walking simulators give some people um, very small penis or the equivalent. So, you know, I got, I got you. I understand. However, I think it's worth the risk because every now and then you find something truly remarkable. Was it worth the $10 I spent on it? Nope! <laughs> no, it was alright. It was- it was good. And it was- it was worth the time. I think, um... Again, there's there's definitely a point to uh, there's a time in one's life when one must go to a thing like that. I don't think it's this time for me, but I enjoyed it, and I like. If you have any suggestions for similar games, tell you what, more like jazz punk, less like that. And I like shit like that. I just don't think it's specifically for. Um. I don't think it's specifically for streaming, is what I mean.